Hey, it's Mike from drive80.com, and today we are going to focus on uh, the opacity in the transform area on um, the an object that's on in a comp. And um, yeah, so we'll just dive into that. It should be a very easy tutorial. So what we're going to do is we're going to, at this point, you should, I'm hoping that you understand, have a decent grasp on After Effects. But uh, if not, all you got to do is just make sure you open up After Effects, create a new comp, and make sure that it matches the same dimensions as mine, which is, I'll show you if I hit Command K, if I click on this guy, hit Command K, that's 1920 by 1080 um, square pixels. We got the frames per second is 23.976. Make sure your duration starts at zero and ends at a minute. Make sure it's black, hit OK. And now we're going to select this guy right here. Since we're just going to focus on opacity, um, if we hit T, that is going to just show opacity. Now, if we had, you'd think that it would be O, but O doesn't really do that. O instead will jump to the end of this frame here. So if I hit O, also I'm like, crap, where'd everything go? If I hit the minus sign and go back up, it'll see that this guy is like exists way the hell off of this off of the area right here and the scrubber uh, which I call it is all the way there so if I were to bring the scrubber back here by just you know you could just select anywhere on the timeline and it'll just follow or you can drag it and it'll move um, if I was here and I hit it if I hit it if I hit it if I hit it hit option right bracket it'll close off this area so now if I was over here messing around and I hit O you'll see that it goes to the end of this layer so going to go back to the beginning and that's a little fun fact for you so we're going to zoom in and we're going to work within four seconds so at this point we're going to have the guy he's going to start off he's already on the stage and or the composition i call the stage all the time i'm going to hit a keyframe here and this clock and that is going to add a keyframe into this point in time which means that in this point in time that i am at full opacity now, if I change that, now if you see if I scrub left, there is no other keyframe here. So this is just saying up until here, I'm following the rules of what this guy is telling me. So if I go over to them, but if I was to put this down to 7D, OK. Now you see that the it, it kind of, let me go back down. Actually, let me go like 30. That's just like a little more dramatic. You can see that the opacity is, is lessened. And if I go left, that means that we're still following the rules of here. Now, at this point, if I had a keyframe and it was at, uh, say, 70, from 70 left, you'll see that it's following those rules. However, if I zoom in, if I go from this point to here, now we're seeing that it's like, all right, the rest of this guy, we have to catch up to where this is. So let's move, let's subtract our numbers to get to there. So I hope that makes sense. Basically, what we just did right there is we started off, we were at 70, and we went down to 30. So let's make this guy 100, where I could just, you could just hover over the numbers here, and I'll get this little like hand with a left and right arrow, and I can move this left and right, and I move it to the right, and I go to this next guy. Now, if I don't want to drag it to that guy, if I hit K, it'll jump right to that next keyframe. And let's say that, all right, well, I want 30, eh, let's make it zero. So it's like, all right, cool. So we started off, we're here, and at this point to here, we want to go down to zero and make it disappear. So let's watch that happen in real time. So let's hit control zero to preview it, and you see that there, it's just, it's fading out. Now, if that was the case, and I wanted it to stay there, and then at this point, I want to fade back in, I can't just put this to be 100 here. So if I just drag that there on the numbers, it'll add the keyframe for me. Um, or I can undo that. I could hit the keyframe and then do that, which is just an extra step, which is stupid, and you don't need that. Um, so I can just drag this dude, and it's there. But that means that since there's nothing in between telling me that the prior one to this is going to match what this value is, it's saying that, well, this guy is at zero and this guy is at 100. So anywhere in between, it's just basically saying, all right, well, let's build back up to 100. So we go here, we see that it fills into 100. So if we watch that, now we're just seeing that it is just zooming in. 
and it, it's also it's looping as well since the workspace is just existing here so the moment that the scrubber hits here it's going to start back here in the beginning and then go through so that's adding this cool this effect of it kind of a blinking effect now if i zoom out of this and if this was like the entire project and this thing you want this thing to like repeat the entire time you just basically have to keep replicating that effect and this is just a box that is just replicate it just should be blinking the whole time but we have to control that and, and if you, an easy way to do, uh, get past that is using expressions which um, you know what I can now I could show you that but I think for this this time we're just gonna focus on opacity so let's say that I have an object let me get rid of these guys so let's say I have an object sitting on stage and you're doing like I don't know you're, you're creating an app or something you want to show like a demo to somebody You'd have it sit on stage, sit on the comp, I mean, and be here. And you're like, all right, at this point, I want this guy. I'm going to, you know, hit uh, the watch, or I can hit option O, or I'm sorry, option T. I keep forgetting that because T is for opacity. Don't ask me why. And I wanted to zoom out. I want to fade out really fast. So I would just go like a couple frames up, and I would just drag this dude to zero and zoom out. I'm going to end this. And I hit control, and it's like it exists the whole time, and then it's gone. And now the time that it takes to fade out is dependent on where this marker is. So if that marker exists there, it's going to take a lot longer to fade out. So we can control the time that it takes. Typically, you want something to fade out faster. Um, it depends on the story you're trying to tell or what you're trying to explain to somebody. Um, but this effect might work. And but maybe you say like at this point you're like, oh wait, I want to, I wanted to. I want it to fade out. I want it to hold fast. I want to hold it longer to this point. So let me just make this 80. So that's saying like between 100 to 80, it's going to take longer to get there, but 80 to zero is going to take, it's going to be a lot faster. So this would be the kind of effect you'd get with that. So it'd be like a ramping down. So it's like kind of slowly gone. So at this point, it's going to go faster down. And that's pretty much the opacity tool. Um, not too much crazy stuff uh, you can do there. I mean, you can mess with the, the keyframes. You can give them a little bit of an ease by control clicking it and going to easy ease. And you'll see there's a bit of a, it's a bit more of a lifelike movement that you're doing. I would suggest as well, if you are done, with, if this guy is it and that's all you wanted him to do, then I would go here at the very end and I would hit option right bracket and close it off. That means that for the rest of the piece, like he's done, he did his, you know, did his chore and that's it, but he still has to exist because it's still, still in the beginning of the animation. And then all this other crap's gonna happen with all these other assets. But there, it's like, so if I'm working up here, this isn't existing off the entire time and he's like kind of hidden there the whole time. And I'm like messing around with objects on stage and I'm just keep hitting this. I'm like, what is this thing I'm hitting? And there's like 50 layers here. And I'm like, oh, I keep that guy. I didn't, I didn't get rid of him. So I'd be like, all right, well, let me go back down to there, like to where that beginning point is, and I'll hit Option, right bracket, and that turns it off. So yeah, so that's the opacity tool. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, have any questions? Make sure you comment below. Uh, if you're, these are interesting to you, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and you can see other tutorials um, and check them out as well. Um, yeah, so again, Mike at drive80.com. Thank you for your time.